वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल दिस इज सिक्स वीडियो ऑफ क्यू बेसिक फॉर बिगिनर्स इफ यू हेवेंट वॉच प्रीवियस वीडियोज यू कैन वॉच दैट टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ क्यू बेसिक प्रोग्राम वर्क एंड हाउ टू राइट क्यू बेसिक प्रोग्राम इन वेरी ईजीएस्ट वे सो यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड एंड यू कैन राइट प्रोग्राम नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गो यू हाउ टू चेक इंटर कैरेक्टर और इनपुट कैरेक्टर इज पॉवेल और कॉन्सोनेंट in very simple way with dry run with example so let's go to the screen and let's see how it work check input character is vowel or consonant we are dealing with characters we are dealing with a string a string means any alphabet a b c d e f g h up to z we are dealing with that so i will write here cls first and we have to ask user to enter any character user can enter a b c d whatever again i will write here enter any character so user can enter a or b or c or d or z that's user choice from the keyboard when we are going to store character it contains like a b c d we have to store that in variable name that is not n only dollar when you want to store character alphabet we have to store in dollar variable name n with dollar that means string variable it can store your name it can store your address it can store a b c d whatever user will enter next we have to check that whether that entered character is vowel or consonant so what is vowel vowel is a e i o u so we have to check that whether user have entered a e i o u or not so i will use here if statement if n dollar equals to a or user can enter another vowel that is e we have to write this a e in double quotation because this is a string a string must be inside the double quotation or n dollar equals to i or n dollar equals to o or n dollar equals to u these are vowels then if user will enter any of this character a i o u then we have to print it is vowel print then i will write here n dollar is vowel else if user will enter other character except this a e i o u then we have to print n dollar double quotation is consonant we have used if so we have to write here end if and then end let's run the program and see whether it is working or not okay this is output screen now as you can see here so it is displaying enter any character that is whatever we have written here in this message input statement we have to store any we have to enter any character so i will enter here a a is vowel it is displaying correct answer because we have checked here if n dollar equals to a because a will be stored in this n dollar variable and n dollar equals to a condition is true when condition is true it will print this n dollar means a is vowel is vowel it is displaying correct answer so let me run the program and enter different character so let me input here f f is consonant because it doesn't match with any of this condition a e i o u because f is not here so that is what that is consonant it will be printed but the main problem is if i enter here capital a capital a a is consonant but a is vowel why this is displaying consonant because we haven't checked here for capital letters we have checked with small letter only so we have to check for that so i will enter here and i will convert whatever user will enter that will be stored in n dollar i will convert that value in small letter and then i can check that so i will write here n dollar equals to 
एल केस डॉलर एल केस डॉलर एंड डॉलर वट एवर यूजर विल इंटर स्मॉल लेटर और कैपिटल लेटर दैट विल बी स्टोर इन एंड डॉलर एंड आफ्टर दैट वी आर कन्वर्टिंग दैट लेटर इन स्मॉल लेटर यूजिंग दिस फंक्शन एल केस डॉलर लोअर केस इट विल कन्वर्ट इन लोअर केस एंड स्टोर इन एंड डॉलर एंड वी कैन चेक दैट सो लेट मी रन द प्रोग्राम again and let's see so i will write here capital a a is vowel because it is converted into a small letter and we have checked and dollar equals to a true then it is printing vowel so we can check for any i will i will enter here capital e now we can see e is vowel because we have converted so it will work let's run the program and enter any other consonant also it will work for that as well so i will enter here g G is consonant. Yeah, this is the simple program to check whether entered character is vowel or consonant. Remember that you have to use dollar after the variable name to store character or name address which contain alphabets. And we have to write this A E I O U alphabets in double quotation. Thank you for watching. If you understand this program, click on the like button, click on the subscribe button, and share with your friends. And see you in the next.